हेलो डियर लर्नर्स आई डॉक्टर हेमंत कुमार अजय धोंगड़े वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन स्टैंडाइजेशन ऑफ आयुर्वेदिक फॉर्मुलेशन दैट इज पार्ट टू इन अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टैंडाइजेशन ऑफ असावास एंड अरिस्टास इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी गोइंग फॉर द स्टैंडाइजेशन ऑफ गुटिका चूर्ण लेहा एंड भस्म नाउ बिफोर गोइंग प्रोसीडिंग टूवर्ड्स द स्टैंडाइजेशन ऑफ गुटिक एंड गुटिका will first know about what is vati or gutika generally vati gutika or gulika these are the synonyms to indicate pills or tablets in ayurvedic system of medicine the ayurvedic medicines which are prepared in the form of tablet or pills are known as vati and gutika these are this may be a single herbal formulation or may be multi herbal combination with or without some purified minerals and or purified material of animal origin generally ayurvedic tablets are the most important and most palatable form of ayurvedic medicines and are very easy to consume without making our test test buds unpleasurable now we'll go for the method of preparations of vati or ayurvedic tablets the vati or gulika they are usually prepared on the basis of ayurvedic principles and the methods which are described in the classical ayurvedic test or ayurvedic formulary of india point number 1 the material or plant uh, what is uh, whatever is given or specified is dried and made into fine powder separately the minerals if mentioned in the formula are made into basma or sindura that is purified form of minerals in case of any formula where mercury or sulfur are mentioned kajali is made first and other drugs are added to it one by one the above ingredients that is herbs bhasma and kajali they are put into mortar and pestle and grounded to a soft paste by adding prescribed fluids in some formula more than one liquid is mentioned in that case they are used in succession one after another after properly grounding the materials the mass starts becoming a soft paste and in a condition when it can be made into pills now at this point sugandha dravya or aromatic uh, flavors uh, like kasturi karpura or any other which are mentioned in the formula are uh, added and grounded again then the paste when becomes non sticky while rolling to the fingers pills of required size can be handmade or they may be uh, punched automatically by tablet punching machine as specified in the reference text pills may be dried either in the shade or under the sun in some formula sugar or jaggery or gugul or babul gum resin is mentioned as binding material in that case this should be processed or liquefied over the mild fire then the powder of the ingredients are added to the liquid and mixed the pills are made from the paste and dried in shade now these are some of the examples of vati chandra prabha vati or dhanvantaram pills arogya vardhani vati etc now this is about the standardization of vati and gutika these are the parameters so generally organoleptic parameters like color and order is determined total sugar reducing sugar phytochemical assessment is done particle size is determined by particle size analyzer identification is done with the help of microscopy hptlc and hp uh, lc hp uh, uh, sorry tlc the determination of heavy metals and toxin is done microbial contamination is determined pesticide residues physical evaluations like total ash acid insoluble ash water insoluble ash is determined alcohol soluble extractives and other extractive values are determined ph then volatile oil content melting temperature loss and loss on drying these are the parameters which are studied for apart from these parameters pharmaceutical parameters like hardness uniformity in weight uniformity in diameter friability test dissolution time disintegration time so these are the important parameters which are generally specified only for tablets now this can be performed by using hardness can be determined 
by using the hardness tester so the testers these two testers are uh, this is the monsanto type of tester and this is the pfizer type of tester then in uniformity of weight again the batch of the tablet is taken and the uniformity of weight is calculated in uh, uniformity of diameter vernier caliper is generally used in friability for determination of friability friability test apparatus is used uh, in dissolution uh, time dissolution test apparatus is used in disintegration time disintegration test apparatus is used for the determination of all these parameters in, uh, the second drug or ayurvedic formulation is churna so we'll discuss what actually churna is then we'll discuss about the method of preparation of ayurvedic churna before going for the standardization of churnas now ayurvedic churna is nothing but it is a fine powder of herbs or drugs it may be again a single herb formulation or maybe a polyherbal formulation again in uh, method of preparation of ayurvedic churna these are generally prepared according to the ayurvedic formulary of india so step wise we will discuss so first step is the ingredients or the herbs which are mentioned in the formula they are first cleaned and then dried properly in shade or under the sun each ingredient is separately powdered finely and then they are sieved each one of the powder is weighed separately and then they are mixed together salt sugar or camphor if men if they are mentioned in the formula then should be mixed carefully at the end if asafoetida and salt are there they may be roasted they they may be powdered and then they may be added to the mixture in the churnas for the purpose of making the churnas some herbs like shatavari guduchu etc they are used in fresh condition so in this case so these kinds of herbs should be made into paste form and they sh they should be dried and then they should be added to the formula now these are the parameters for the standardization of churna so for the parameter par the parameters here we had discussed are organoleptic evaluation so the determination of color odor taste is done microscopic evaluation next is physical analysis physical analysis includes loss on drying total ash acid insoluble ash water soluble extractives ph value etc then phytochemical analysis here in phytochemical analysis we go for qualitative analysis then we can also go for tlc studies high performance um, tlc studies then here in churnas particle size is very important the particle size of churna should be always in between 80 to 120 mesh then again test for heavy metals and toxins toxins is done microbial contamination is determined test for specific pathogens like e coli salmonella species pseudomonas species has to be performed test for aflatoxins by tlc that is uh, is done uh, generally b1 b2 and g1 g2 is to be determined pesticide residues including organochlorine pesticides organophosphorus pesticides pyrethroids are determined and the shelf life of the formulation that is churna is determined one of the example of churna is trifala churna next category is avleya or lehem in avleya or lehem is one of the form of ayurvedic medicine which is semi solid in consistency it is prepared from the drugs or herbs with the addition of jaggery sugar or sugar candy and then boiled with prescribed uh, drug juice or decoction avleya are also uh, termed as rasayana or leya now all type of this avleya preparations generally have following ingredients like decoctions or liquids uh, sugar jaggery or sugar candy powder or pulp of certain drugs ghee or oil and honey so this is the pictorial presentation of avleya one of the example of avleya is chavan prash now method of preparation of avleya first 
the ingredients like jaggery sugar or sugar candy it is dissolved well in decoction or liquid and then it is filtered to remove the foreign particles this solution is then boiled over moderate fire when the paka is prepared when the paka is tantu uh, vata that is the thread like when pressed between the thumb and the index finger or when it sinks down in the glass of water without getting easily dissolved it should be removed from the fire then fine powders of herbs are then added in small quantities and stirred continuously and vigorously to form a homogeneous mixture uh, ghee and oil if mentioned in the formula is added while the preparation is somewhat hot and mixed well honey if mentioned in mentioned is added at the last when the mixture or preparation is cool and then it is mixed well some of the examples of avlaya are uh, chavan prash dashmula rasayan agatsya haritaki and ashwagandha layam now these are the parameters for the standardization of laya or avlaya the parameters like organoleptic evaluation is performed in physical evaluations like Lawson trying total ash acid insoluble ash ph specific gravity total solid content fat content is determined then total sugar reducing sugars chromatography which includes tlc hptlc hplc uh, that can be determined test for heavy metals then microbial contamination determination is done and the shelf life is of laya is calculated the next category is basma as you all know this basma in ayurveda has been defined as a sub substance obtained by calcination now basma is a calcined preparation in which the gem or metal is converted into ash now these gems or metals are purified to remove impurities and treated by triturating and macerating in herbal extracts the dough so obtained is calcinated to obtain the ashes Now there are various steps for basmi karan that is preparation of basma the steps include purification powdering stirring washing filtering heating triturating coating with the herbal extracts after that detoxification and preservation these are the examples of basmas abrak basma godanti basma gomedmani basma hirat basma and kasya basma now these are the Um, parameters for the standardization of basma parameters like botanical authentication is carried out determination of foreign matter organoleptic evaluations microscopic and macroscopic evaluations determination of volatile material ash value extractive value chromatographic profiles marker component pesticide rates residues determination of microbial count and determination of heavy metal contamination so these are the other parameters that has to be studied during the standardization of basma basma can also be tested for lusterless so there should not be any chandrika or metal luster so that means nis chandrika so luster in the powder should not be present rekha purnat no, rekha purnatvam that is when basma is spread between the index finger and thumb and rubbed so it should be so fine so as to get easily into the lines and the cervix of the finger and should not be washed out from the lines of the fingers next is when small quantity is spread on cold and still water it should float on the surface so that is called as vari taratvam next is when the basma the basma should not revert to its original state that means when the basma is prepared it should not get back to its state so that is called as apurna bhava <clears throat> then it should be test testless then avami avami means avami means the basma should not produce nausea on administration so this so these are the, these are all the parameters that has to be seen for basma uh, for the standardization of basma so generally standardization of the drug uh, has to be carried out and all the processes what we have discussed uh, one by one has to be carried out and the results are to be calculated and the result should be in between the permissible limits so thank you and happy learning